Good morning, everybody. In this episode, we will see some of the uh, basics of the QGIS, like importing data and uh, basics on basic operations that we can do with this data. Okay, let's start on uh, QGIS and just double click the new empty project the EPSG is okay as it's the globe the whole globe the data we will we are using here uh, we will be using here is taken from OpenStreetMap and you can go to the Open Web, OpenStreetMap website in order to download that or you can use uh, uh, pre-built dump uh, made by external services um, like uh, overpass or uh, geofabric if you go to uh, the download.geofabric.e you can see openstreetmap data extracts and now we will be using a part of italy so just click europe italy and then you can download the nordest thing or oh, you can use um, quite a lot of formats uh, the pbf which is uh, strictly related to openstreetmap or you can use the classical asri ship files so we will use um, as a shape file for now and I show you how to use pbf file uh, um, in the future so download it um, extract it somewhere and fire qgis with a new open uh, new project in order to add uh, a file in qgis you have um, Quite a lot of possibilities. You can use the browser panel and browse the, in the, the path you want and just double click the uh, file itself. We downloaded the Nord, Nordist uh, <coughs> latest free, which is the nor Northeast of Italy. And for instance, we can load the roads double click it okay you can see it <coughs> showing uh, uh, QGIS is loading the, the file the file is quite large so we can think about uh, improving performance but not at the moment another thing we can use is the water so we can add the water but you can also use um, the data manager which is the this icon here with the uh, three squares and a plus and you can see you can add a lot of things vector which is the format we are using right now raster which is like um, a sort of uh, image that is uh, georeferenced um, that uh, is uh, uh, there are two kind of data maybe i can talk about uh, uh, more um, in depth about this uh, in the future uh, mainly we can have a vector which is the geometry is expressed in terms of coordinates and uh, lines point polygons and so on raster which is just a grid uh, where um, where uh, every pixel in this grid uh, means something it can be um, aerial imagery or um, thermal uh, image and so on and uh, every pixel is georeferenced based on um, a point of this image which is normally the uh, one of the corner uh, every pixel has a fixed dimension which is called the resolution but um, let's move on for now you can also add a mesh which is um, a 
um, kind of data really used in, in 3D in three dimension, point cloud for LiDAR. You can import the limited text and a lot of other formats um, that I'll show you uh, in uh, the next episodes. Let's take a vector and uh, let's choose the browse buttons. Oh, it's let's browse in the right path. The, the, okay, and now we can add the uh, let's take yeah, it allows you to import a, a lot of uh, formats. Let's take the shape file. Oh, oh, where it is? Okay, there it is. So let's add buildings. You can see some parameters. When you are okay, just click add. Okay, it takes a while because buildings are really a lot here. After that, we can close. You can see buildings are loading and the last uh, thing you can do is to directly uh, drag something on the map and it will get added. So let's take places for instance. Okay, and oh, it was the other one. Uh, so for places A and places 3 is this one here. Okay, better. Okay, we we had we have added to it. Yeah, it's a lot of information actually. The the really important thing is you can change in the layers panel the order of everything you want to see. So if I take places A and I bring it down, it just arrange it down. To the, into the stack you can think this mm, like a stack of transparent layers uh, which are overlapped uh, one according this um, disorder so we can for instance move roads above water okay and uh, also you can toggle visibility and this is useful if you want, if you want uh, to take out some noise. For instance, places are uh, is a layer with a lot of uh, data, so we can switch it down for the moment. Also for buildings, and uh, here you can see the style of the the features. So you can see Rose is drawn uh, is currently drawing drawn like a um, gray grayish uh, line. Also, water is not color of the water, but it's yellow. And places is uh, in, uh, in some kind of red. You can. You can change this, and you can do in this. Uh, you can do in that, just uh, using uh, the properties. Okay, how to access these properties? You can just right-click on the, the layer, and you can see some uh, options: zoom to layer, show an overview, show feature count, show labels, copy layer, rename layers, dupli duplicate, remove, uh, move. To top to bottom and so on. but what is uh, interesting for us is properties which open up a dialog where we can see information about the, the file and uh, change things actually if you want so uh, the you can check the information you can check the source if the the layer is really big you can go to source geometry and click update create spatial index 
I don't re I don't remember actually the right words because I have already created the special index but uh, uh, it get faster if you have an index um, behind the, the data itself okay so let's take a look to symbology I'll show you mm, this in the future more in depth but right now you can see when you add a layer you will uh, uh, get uh, a pre-built style but you can just click on the on the symbol in a simple fill for instance and you can change the color in a light blue okay if you click apply you can see it gets updated in the map and everything is right better you can try some option to improve uh, the the view let's do this um, for roads okay the same one it uh, remembers the um, <coughs> the tab you were on so change simple line into maybe black one okay oh perfect you can zoom in cd like this one small one no you can uh, okay let's enable buildings back yeah, here are buildings and we can also add places we can add the little bit of contrast here we can increase the side and we can choose a orange also we can make it no a bit too much okay we can choose the kind of the stroke and the width of the stroke also you have some pre pre built shapes you can experiment okay let's see this perfect also you can change the um, let's do this you can change the opacity in the buildings you can i would like to make it red but not really filled so okay it gets uh, a bit uh, transparent of transparency uh, this is really important if you have overlapped information and here is not really our case so it's okay uh, I show I will show you in the future how to um, differentiate information based um, style based on information and feature attributes for instance okay mm -hmm. for instance you can uh, styling uh, uh, you can add the style to a polygon using categories or data itself let's take a look to um, some uh, tools okay for the the, nav the navigation the panning of the UGIS data okay the first tool really useful is the pan map it allows you to click and drag data your your map actually you can choose you can select something using the select feature and after that Oh, we are okay. Okay, uh, QGS will uh, select only on the layer which is selected in the layers panel. So now let's select water and click. After doing that, we can choose to click pan map to selection. Uh, okay, it will move the selection to the map on the selection itself. You can zoom in like you want, zoom out actually works on the uh, on the opposite of the zoom uh, zoom in you can zoom full 
which takes the maximum extent of layer and zoom out but doing that is not uh, really useful if you have a lot of data also you can zoom to selection which takes us back to the to the point of the previous point or you can zoom to layer and it zooms zoom us to the layer um, let's move back to the selection okay i selected some oh i changed the selection before uh, it was uh, on the water now we are on building so it zoom out you can have multiple selection and uh, you can go back uh, and uh, port from the zoom you can add a new map uh, and so on another important thing is identify features which actually mm, does not work mm, well in selection so we deselect everything and we keep using this uh, pointer and I click on the or oh, just do a box obviously it works like selection so we are now on the roads okay oh no uh, never mind uh, not true it, if I click it automatically identify a feature independently of the, the layer this works only for selections so if we click a road uh, we can see the name the code the USM ID and uh, which class it is if it is one way if uh, which max speed has and so on the attributes actually if we, I click this circle uh, building I I can see it has an OSM ID yeah, it's the class of buildings and the name is Palazzetto lo Sport which is the Italian for the sports center like uh, in English we can also click on the places places are um, a, pa um, a point element which is uh, mm, very abstract in OS OSM so it uh, in based on the class it means different things and in this case it's just a, a suburb which is called Comenda Est okay I this is the basics of data browsing and uh, querying data in QGIS. Obviously, you can remove layer if I want to take this out. I select your uh, OSM places. I click this button, which is called Remove Layer and I can remove it okay perfect uh, also we can add a group okay, if I have a selected layer it um, insert the layer itself inside the group oh no uh, if you right click on the, the group you can change its name uh, test group and we can add for instance building and roads you can add things mm, dra mm, moving them inside or outside the group okay now we have roads in the test group but this is useful to group things as you can you can switch on and off things also you can um, um, you can do operation delay on the, in the groups itself uh, it does not have very uh, very large set of features but you can um, change for instance the CRS of the reference system of a group uh, which modifies everything in the group itself okay this is a very basic episode for uh, yeah, very basic QG, QGIS in uh, QGIS in production. 
so thank you for listening remember to like and subscribe the channel and uh, let's uh, let's wait for another episode when i think i'll uh, i explore the styling methods of qjs also you can save the project and just click the project and take a location okay let's save this this on data and add a name we'll test oh. project and just we can start again from this uh, in the next episode okay thank you for listening and see you next time bye